Hey, good morning. Good morning, everybody. A uh, little project of the day today is I am going to install a generator interlock kit on a panel that I just had uh, changed up. If you take a look behind me, uh, over in that space right there, that used to be my old 200 amp service panel. Uh, for some reason, this uh, waste pipe was running in front of the panel, and because we just had solar uh, put on, the, uh, the city I live in said that that uh, was a big no-no. So the uh, solar company had to come out and uh, put in a whole new panel and rewire everything completely. So you see the new panel they put in and uh, up over here in the ceiling, there's a junction box that they fed all the wires in and tied them all together. And the bottom line is they did a nice neat job and uh, looking forward to get cut over to solar uh, pretty soon. So. Uh, they ended up putting a brand new Siemens panel in, and uh, the panel's got a new 200 amp main, and I've got a 50 amp generator feed on the top right portion of the panel, as you can see right there. And uh, just to make sure things are safe, when I use my generator, I am going to uh, make sure that I put in this interlock kit made for the Siemens panel. So, having said that, I am going to get started on going through the directions that came with the interlock kit. And the first thing it says to do is to take this little kit panel apart, which just slides up and down, just slides up and down like that. So there's some Phillips head screws on the back. So I'm gonna take those off. Find a place to put them that I won't lose them. everybody's doing well out there today. If you find my videos to be of any value or help to you, and I'm not a qualified electrician by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, I'm not afraid of like a lot of homeowners out there to dabble on things that uh, I feel safe with that I don't feel is a danger to me. So I've gotten you know used to working around electrical panels and uh, I know when not to do something and I stay away from the problems that I know I could cause if I did something wrong. And uh, having said that, <clears throat> if you're not at all comfortable opening a panel or doing any work on a panel, don't hire an electrician. Just make sure you stay safe and hire an electrician. So, uh, In this case now, I've, I've taken this apart. I've got an, a little issue here with this, this plate and I've got a, a, a slide that goes on that so I think my next step is to open up the, the panel and uh, basically to do that <clears throat> you'll see that there's some screws on all these locations here and there's six screws that hold the face of the panel on and I'll just pause for a minute and I'll take this panel off and once the panel is off uh, I have to mark mark the location that this is going to go and uh, I'll be back with you in just a couple of minutes thanks Okay there, we're going to uh, take the face off the panel of the screwdriver. We've got six screws to take off of this thing and after that I'll pull the face of the panel off. Just remember, don't do this if you're in any way, shape or form uncomfortable working around electricity. I've been into different panels at different times in my life and uh, not a perfect electrician and I'm not even an electrician but I kind of know what to watch out for and how to be careful so I would suggest that be the same for you if you would attempt to do something like this not the easiest thing for a novice it can be very nerve-wracking So if you happen to find any value in my videos or just like some generic generic random information from time to time, just uh, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. It's uh, not going to matter too much, but quite honestly, I'm retiring in a few months and if I can generate some gas money, 
off of the YouTube channel. Uh, be greatly appreciated. If uh, you have a channel and you put videos up and you would like somebody to subscribe and like them, just uh, let me know and I'll be I'll be happy to uh, oblige you. Now this is a brand new panel that was put in no more than two weeks ago. And the interesting thing is, is that there's six screws in the panel. Five of the screws are brand new and one screw is old. So I don't know what the heck uh, they did to lose one of the screws, but they certainly did. But anyhow, at this point now, we're gonna pull off the panel. Let's see what's behind here. All right. There's your basic panel. Nothing to, nothing to worry about. Put that on the floor. And uh, a little closer look at things here. There's your 200 amp feed coming from up above. This is my, uh, gonna be my generator feed here on the right hand side. And that's what I'm gonna put my interlock switch in for. So uh, we're gonna get off to the interlock switch piece of this uh, pretty soon. So I will be back in a, in a minute and uh, give you some updates on, on, on that. Okay, so I'm just laying this on the chair so I can actually drill this. I marked three holes here based on the, uh, the template or the, the slide latch. And this is basically the, the layout of it. You put, your, you put your base piece like this, you mark three holes and then you drill them out. Uh, the drill was provided already, so I'm just going to hook that up and uh, get going with it. Drill the three holes and then we'll finish things up. That noise that you hear is my uh, water pressure booster pump. Best thing I've put in here in a long time. We had like 40 psi pressure before and now we have uh, 80 psi pressure, but until we pull it out. That's one. That's two. three so I'm gonna get you situated a little bit better and I'll be right back
Oh, I guess I've been running, but anyway, I drilled the three holes in here for the uh, analog switch. My apologies for the video probably being a little screwed up, but uh, we take this plate and its backing plate like that. You match the you match the holes up, okay, and you put the screws through here. And which way am I going with these? Oh, they come in from the back. Okay, so let's get these going. Put one in. Okay. Put that up here. Like that. And then we're going to lift this up and we're going to start, start screwing it in. tricky at first but I'm sure I'm sure we can get it. I'm sure we'll get it. There we go. That's the start of one. And what these are it's like a little little is a little nut and a little sleeve that goes over that. So the nut comes in from the back. So we'll catch this catch this properly and We'll find the hole that it goes in, like that. Then we take the, the nut cap from the front, end up putting that on and getting it started. Just a couple of threads there will get it started. All right, and we got one more to put in, and then we'll tighten them up with a, a Phillips head screwdriver. So again, the other set, a nut, and that, that tap that goes on it, that cap. So coming from the back, Help in the back there with the with the hole one to get it going. There we go. And we'll put this on the front of it, and we'll get that going here. At this point, I'll just screw that right down till it's tight. And even when it's tight, it's still gonna still gonna go up and down just fine. So I'm gonna put the pressure on the other two. Get those in there. The next side, get them down. And then the final one. So you can really tighten these screws up pretty good. And they'll bite into the back of the panel. They have spaces enough in there, so but this will just go up and down, okay? So I am going to put the panel face back on, and then when I come back, I will I will show you uh, basically why this is here and how it how it how it's going to work to let that uh, 50 amp breaker be on when the panel is shut off. I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, so back over here and uh, putting the panel back together. After I get the the screws put in safely. I'll open it up and I'll show you exactly what the project was about and why we uh, why we put them why we put it the interlock switch in. Like I said, I'm not sure why they lost the screw on this here, but it's kind of annoying, so I'm going to have to go find a new uh, new screw for this and actually fix it because this old one's kind of gaffed up. I don't like it. It's not perfect. But it is what it is for now. So 
That's it, the box is fastened. I'll open this up. Now, what you're gonna see up here, okay, is what they call the interlock switch, the generator interlock switch. So basically what happens is, as you can tell, this 50 amp breaker cannot turn on while this uh, safety switch is, is in place, all right? So if I were to have to have the generator running, and I'm not gonna do this right now, I would take the 200 amp main and I would flip it over. And when I flip it over, then this little slot would align with that and it would allow me to lift this up at that point. And when it's all the way up, then I could move the double 50 amp breaker over into a run position. And that would actually stop the, stop the line from uh, getting energized if my generator is running, it won't back feed out onto the main line and, and potentially hurt hurt someone that might be working on the line. So that's, uh, that's my uh, generator interlock project. So if you found any value in it, like I said, please uh, like and subscribe to the video. And uh, I probably put a lot of little silly things up from time to time that people don't really care about. But uh, there are some people that don't know how to do some simple things out there. And sometimes it's a, it's a bit of a help if uh, you do a little show and tell and maybe help somebody out that uh, has the ability but doesn't have the complete confidence to uh, go ahead and tackle it themselves. But I bid you a great day and uh, thanks for stopping by to watch. Bye-bye.